How y'all doing out there? Welcome to Clayton Showalter's YouTube channel here. We're back on this uh, Home Light XL123 chainsaw here. And uh, I think it's still got an air leak or something. Uh, these, I've pressure checked it. The only leak that I'm really finding is the decomp valve. It's leaking, but most decomp valves leak a little bit. Um, if they're a slight slow leak, you're okay. But if they're really bubbling out of there, or, you know, you spray some soapy water on them. If they're leaking that bad, then you'll have to either plug it or get a new decomp valve. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to throw our air filter on here. That's the original air filter there. And I did this one out of a scrubbing pad as a little extra filtration trying to keep junk and stuff out of going into your engine so it fits hope you can see that good and be careful on using those green scotch bright pads um let me show you Here's one of these green scotch bright pads. They can work as a filter, but I'd be careful because this stuff comes off. And maybe you'll see this here. That's a scotch bright powder. See all that coming off? Just me rubbing on it. This one's different. It's not, stuff doesn't come off of it there. Maybe some fine little hairs, but that's green Scotch Bright. All that stuff's uh, abrasive. It's grit. It's coarse. That gets inside your engine over time. It'll probably score your piston and cylinder, wreck your bearings. So if you're going to use that, you might want to put something over that so it doesn't get sucked down into your engine. Anyways, let's go ahead and throw this on here. And what I want to show you here is I'll bring you in close. I can get you in. If I can get you in close here. I'm going to pause you. I'll bring you back in just a second. All right, we're back here. I just want to show you this on the cutting tooth here. This is a semi-chisel cutting tooth. You look at that, uh, you can see that good. See how that's got a nice, you know, nice hook in it there? That's about what you want. I'll take you back to another one here. Look at the hook in that one. It's not as dramatic. Down, down here is your gullet. You want to get that as best as you can. You want more of a hook in that. And you want to stay with your angle. Some of these chains on these saws will have an angle on there that lets you know that you're getting to the end of the end of the cutting tooth. And that line on there is the the angle you want to stay with. And I believe that's about 30 or 35. And then here, that's your raker, or your depth gauge. And over time, this tooth gets back, and that'll be above your tooth. Well, it's not really going above your tooth. Your, your tooth is just getting smaller, so you'll have to take some licks off that and use a, a depth gauge tool there. And uh, so that chains us. This is semi-chisel. Because the semi chisel has this rounded corner. I'm gonna throw another saw up on the bench here. That's the same pitch as that chain. That's a three eighths pitch. Well, this is a brand new chain here. And of 
course the saw sits a little lower and this chain is brand new and this is what you call a full chisel this edge is square you can see the hook in that that's a brand new chain I did not touch touch that with a file it could probably be sharpened up a lot more make it really cut fast but that's what you call your full chisel get this to where you can see it a little better that's a that's a full chisel tooth you see the top plate of it there come on focus So we're going to take this, uh, we'll take this home light and we'll go make some cuts with it. I just wanted to show you the chain on it there. We'll bring you back. All right, we're back here. We got this home light XL 123. And uh, just to give you an idea how big this tree was, not very big, <clears throat> only about 10 inches in diameter. So. And the saw hasn't been warmed up it's a cold start but it ain't that cold out it's maybe 70 degrees 75 degrees so we're gonna get her fired up here and see how she cuts and uh, kind of give you an idea how it cuts before I sharpen it and uh, we'll take it from there
solid cuts there. Um, that chain's not too bad, but I think it could be better. So we're going to touch it up a little bit and we'll bring you back. And I think this thing's probably having crank seals going when it gets warm. You see when I tilt it to one side, it starts to rev up a little bit. And when I tilt it one way, it gets goofy. So, but when I pressure vacuum tested, crankshaft seals on either side were not leaking. Just that decomp was leaking a little bit. So, I cannot find crankshaft seals for this XL123. If any one of you out there knows where I can find some for this, please let me know. I would greatly appreciate it because uh, this saw probably won't be back on the channel for a little bit um, till I find them seals. Um, maybe I can find them at Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair, but I looked and he didn't have any and uh, I have some for an, uh, a home light XL12 and a Super XL but they're different so all right enough of me flapping my gums here we'll bring you back when we touch this chain up a little bit just a hand file just a light hand file just a quick one we'll bring you back y'all hang tight We've got that chain touched up on this Home Light XL123. And uh, let's see if I can hold it. And maybe you guys can see that I've sharpened it. Trying to hold it as steady as I can. Let's see. Come on, focus. Anyways, it's hard for me to hold that and get you to see, but you guys saw how it cut just a little bit ago. We're gonna do some cuts with it now again. on that saw there and try that and see but I think crank seals are probably going once it gets warmed up sucking a little bit of air but see how it's bogging out as you try to rev it up let's see what it does now something's goofy with it there as soon as I just picked it up it killed it Y'all let me know what you think that is. Carburetor or something.
Well, I think touching that chain up helped out quite a bit. I think it cuts pretty darn good. Y'all let me know what you think out there. And this oak tree hadn't been down that long, so it's still pretty green. Uh, we'll have to try it in some seasoned stuff, you know, that's because this oak or any wood, the longer it sits, the harder it gets when it seasons. And it's, we all cut firewood out there, y'all know. So we're going to give this a steel 034 AV a shot here. This chain, I haven't touched this chain. This is a full chisel. The chain on the home light's a semi chisel. So we're going to give this a shot. This one's acting a little goofy. So it's probably going to be back on our channel a few months back, probably, uh, well, maybe like 10 months back, eight, nine, 10 months back. I built this saw here, put new bearings and crankshaft seals in it. Um, had a heck of a time trying to get the carburetor to seal. It was leaking fuel a lot. So well, let's give it a shot here. I've already warmed it up. We'll give her a shot and, uh, See how this chain, see how this full chisel cuts compared to that semi chisel on that home light. And I have not touched this one. This is just out of the box. I've done a few cuts with it, but not a lot. So let's give her a shot here. I hope you're all having fun.
Well, you can all see that. See that steel with that uh, chain on there hasn't been sharpened. Uh, that's just from the factory, the way I bought it. Uh, I did a few cuts with it, not a whole lot. You can see how it's cutting there, but that saw is acting goofy. So we're going to have to put that on the bench and uh, find out what's wrong with it. We're probably going to do another pressure vacuum test on it to make sure a uh, intake boot or anything didn't go on that there. So uh, home lights running, uh, so so, but it should run better. It should not be goofy like that. So just wanted to update y'all with that. So I hope you enjoy these videos here. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Please leave a comment. I'd love to read the comments. So y'all thanks for watching and remember let's be kind to one another out there and uh, help each other out if we can and uh, let's keep this positivity going here. Uh, no downer stuff. Let's all positive stuff. So y'all thanks for watching. Y'all take care out there.